Yes, afternoon everyone. Uh, this is Mr. Muhammad. It's going to be taking you in uh, graphs in graphs and functions, and you should be looking exactly at what is the function. Before we proceed with functions, I will assume that everyone here on the platform has the knowledge of the previous graphs that we discussed in grade 11, that is grade 11 and grade 10. We discussed the parabolic graph or the quadratic and this quadratic graph uh, was given in the form of y equaling to a x minus or plus p squared plus minus q right also given as a x squared plus b x plus c also it can also be written as a into x minus x1 and x minus x2 where x1 and x2 are the x intercepts of the graph depending on the shape of the graph which can be determined by the value of a right uh, we looked at a straight line graph straight line graph given by y is equal to mx plus c or y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1 right uh, Thirdly, we looked at the exponential graph, exponential graph, which was given by y is equal to ax, now y is equal to a b power x plus minus q. Uh, we also looked at the hyperbolic graph, hyperbolic graph, hyperbolic graph which was given by y is equal to a over x minus o plus p plus minus q which we discussed and you agreed that p and q are the asymptotes where the graph cannot pass so the parabola has a turning point the straight line is a straight line definitely exponential is a curve it can be an increasing, it can be a decreasing exponential graph. The parabola has asymptotes. Asymptotes where it cannot pass. Okay, depending also on the value of A, it can either be in the first and third or second and fourth quadrant of the Cartesian plane. Parabola can either be smiling or it can be sad. As well, depending on the value of A, this is a negative A and that is a positive A. Right, so that's what you have to know as per now, before we go into graphs. I mean, before we go into functions. Okay. Uh, functions. What is a function? Nobody is going to ask you in a question paper that what is a function that you must give uh, an answer in form of a statement. This is not history or geography. But we must know that a function is a relationship. A function is a relationship. In mathematics, graphs are relationships whereby one parameter, one, uh, one variable depends on the another. We know that the y depends on x. So we say that if any relationship is a function, then for every 
1x value. I must get 1y value. Okay. So we say function is a relationship where there is a one value of of y for every one x value. Okay. So if uh, if you have two values of y for one x value, then that's not a function. Okay. So a function, it must be noted that you what? That uh, for every one y value, I mean for every one x value, we shall get one y value because y depends on x. So x is the one that's to give that is to give us the y values. I'm going to look at a straight line. For example, firstly, if I have an example of a straight line, y is equal to five x plus four. Okay. If you look at this function of ours or our relationship, y depends on x. There's no way I will put one x value, then I'll get two y values. Right? For example, if I say for x is equal to one, what is the value of y? I'll say y is going to be five into one plus four. Then I'll say y is going to be 5 plus 4 and we shall get 9. So we have used one, y, one x value and we have got one y value. Right? Now functions have notations. Function notation can be f of x. It can be k of x. It can be g of x. It can also be m of x. If I say that M stands for Muhammad, it's okay. Right? But this simply means that F of X, that F depends on X. K of X means that K depends on X. G of X, that G depends on X. M depends on X. Right? So, X is the independent variable here. Right? So even our graph or our relationship here of y is equal to 5x plus 4, I can write it as f of x is equal to 5x plus 4. Okay? Sometimes they say f, then they say x, and uh, it's going to be 5x plus 4. That's the function. Okay? So... This is y, that is y, that is y, that is y, because it is the dependent variable. It's going to depend on every x value that we substitute into the graph. Okay. Now, there is a... Uh, what we have to know here as well is the inverse function. Inverse function. Okay. First of all, what is an inverse? An inverse is a reflection. A reflection of a graph. Remember, our graph is a, is a relationship. Our inverse is a reflection of a graph in the line y is equal to x. Remember, this line is equal to x is the line that divides the Cartesian plane into two. Right? So that is my line y is equal to x. So whenever I deflect any relationship, any graph about this line, then I, whatever I get as a reflection or the image is going to be an inverse. Right, so you are saying that whenever we deflect a graph through the line y is equal to x, then that graph is an inverse. How can we know that our graph is an inverse function? One, to test for a function, we 
we shall use what we call the vertical line test the vertical line test we shall use what we call a vertical line test we draw a vertical line through the graph and if our graph cuts the relationship or the graph at one point then that relationship is a function if it cuts it at two points then it's not a function so an inverse function is a function that has been reflected via the line y is equal to x and the vertical line test cut it at one point I'm going to use the same relationship of f of x equaling to 5x plus 4 to illustrate a function and its inverse we must now understand that the straight line is a function because it's a one-to-one -one relationship as well its inverse should be a function now how can I find an inverse of such a relationship first step is write our function as y is equal to 5x plus 4 second step we swap we swap the x for the y and y for x right therefore it will be x equal to 5y plus 4 that's what I'm I've done here I've swapped the x has become y the y has become x thirdly then we make y the subject we make y the subject of that equation or of that uh, function so we shall have y equaling to x minus 4 divided by 5 divide by 5 so that's my inverse I can as well say my f of x with an inverse notation is going to be equaling to x over 5 minus 4 over 5 so this is my inverse and that is my original graph illustration by sketching we can say that uh, if this is my Cartesian plane y-axis also known as the line x equaling to 0 because all x coordinates are 0 here this is going to be my x-axis also known as y equaling to 0 because all coordinates of, uh, of y are 0 that's my origin if I'm to sketch my line y is equal to f, uh, 5x plus 4 the only possible way is by finding the x and y intercepts that's the only beautiful way we can sketch that line when you look at my line when x is 0 y is going to be 4 so 4 becomes the what the y intercept and if and if y is 0 x will be negative 4 over 5 so it should be an increasing graph negative 4 over 5 we can say it's going to be somewhere here negative 4 over 5 and that is my 4 okay so this is my straight line This is my straight line. Original line y is equal to 5x plus 4. So if I'm to find the inverse of this line, I have to reflect it through the line y is equal to x. That is my line. We draw it with dotted line y is equal to x. So because we said that we swap which means that even in our graph here we shall swap the intercepts for the graph to come out properly 
if this is my y intercept it is going to be my x intercept if this is my x intercept it will be my y intercept okay so the inverse function will therefore be remember it's not drawn to scale not drawn to scale so this is my f inverse and this is my f okay if it was drawn to scale these two lines were supposed to meet okay probably they would have met okay at the same point remember the distance the distance from the mirror of the image should be the same as that from the mirror to the object it's like looking at yourself in the mirror your image must be the distance the image distance must be the same as the object distance from the mirror from the line of reflection okay so it is a function why because if i draw a vertical line test it is cutting it at one point and my original graph also if i draw a vertical line test it was cutting it at one point so both of the graphs are functions because they meet the vertical line test okay so we have seen the function and this inverse the other thing to note about uh, function graphs is the domain and the range we discussed this in grade 11 and we say that the domain are x values that satisfy or satisfy a given relationship and the range are, are y values that satisfy a given relationship for a straight line it is going that side it's coming down so its domain are all x values because it satisfies all x values there is no way it's going to be limited unless the question says otherwise and the range as well is going up it's going down and also when you're looking for the inverse or the domain and the range of the inverse they swap if my range was all x values even now the domain is going to be swapped as well okay and you become all y values we shall see this more in detail when it comes to the parabola and exponential graph but for the straight line because it's all x values all y values satisfy a given function so you may not see it clearly but you must note that for the domain and range of a of the inverse and the function of the of the inverse are all the same all x values that is the domain and all y values is the range and that is our domain for the straight line now let's discuss the parabola